What up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Soul Savvy Podcast. Um, we are going to chat sneakers, photography, sports today with uh, Jordan, but I'll let you introduce yourself first and we'll dive in. Yeah, so my name is Jordan Jimenez. I'm a sports photographer from the Bay Area, 24 years old. Um, so I started photography when I was in high school. I was maybe 17, about to turn 18, uh, senior in high school. And just kind of needed something something new to do. So for me, it was kind of like I wasn't hooping anymore. Mm. I was doing the school thing, going to work, um, doing all the extracurriculars. But for me, I felt like I wasn't really doing anything that I really personally wanted to do. And at the same time, it was a way for me to um, figure out my mental health situation and just like try to heal. Um, so for me, when I picked up photography, it was more so a way of like, seeing life in a positive way mm -hmm. and finding something new to do to improve myself. You know, kind of flipping through, through, through Instagram, like you spent mm -hmm. time in the Warriors locker room post championship. Like that's a, that's an amazing journey. Um, right. And where did that, where did that, where did that start? Did that, um, that start with Jordan? Um, no. So does, and I, I feel like it actually starts way before Jordan. Okay. Um, so maybe I would for, say maybe for context about for everyone, Jordan pool, cause your name is also. Jordan. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. I and always not, forget and not, that too. And not Jordan brand either. Um, <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'd say it starts maybe a year after I started photography. Okay. Um, I would say a year after I started photography, it, that's when I really combined basketball on, um, with my photography as well. So, um, for me, it was just like showing up to random gyms and just shooting a bunch of different games to like really figure out how basketball photography works, mm -hmm. being able to shoot the finals and everything. It, it really was just a culmination of the six years prior of like me really showing up to all these games, the workouts, doing so much work for free. And that kind of just led to where I'm at today. So it was like not one specific thing, but it was more mm -hmm. so all of these little things that I did every single day for years that finally added up and like people finally started to notice a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. So to, to that, then what is a, a piece of advice you would give to someone who is in your, who is in your shoes now, you three years ago or six years ago, like, what would you, what would you say to them to help them, you know, they right. focus, keep building, keep working. Cause it's easy to quit. Yeah. It's really easy to want to quit sometimes. Uh, for people who aren't even, you know, necessarily in it yet, I would say just start mm -hmm. because I feel like a lot of people have pick that fear camera. of starting. Be exactly. Just, just pick it up. And like, even if you don't know what you're doing, like mess around a little bit, have fun. It's supposed to be fun. So I would say just start and don't be scared of failing because we're all going to fail at some point. And, you know, that's just part of part of life. And you don't, you, you take those L's as lessons basically. And just like, how do you figure out how you learn from that and grow from it? Let's talk about sneakers a little bit here. Um, what is your relationship with sneakers? Yeah, I feel like I've always had a really personal relationship with sneakers, especially like growing up, growing up around basketball. That's kind of like, it's, it's obviously an essential. It's one of the tools that you have to have to hoop a little bit. Um, so for me, I've, it's always been one of my favorite things in the world, to be honest. And the way that I've always looked at it is like, you really get to wear your favorite piece of art. <laughs> and so that's the way I've always looked at it. I've always been super interested in like, you know, obviously the colorways and the materials and like something as simple as how the shoe smells. <laughs> you know, I like to all of these little details about a shoe I really love. And that's always been true. And like even when I was a kid, I would always I would remember just like picking up a shoe and I, I'd smell it. I feel how like all the materials feel and like look up what kind of materials they were. So for me, it's always been around. I've, it's something I've always really loved. What has it been like um, for you? Being around the Warriors from a basketball, from a sneaker perspective, I feel like there's just so much that would just be so fun um, from a fly on the wall perspective. For me, it's like it's kind of like a little playground where it's like you see all these things that you might not necessarily have seen if you weren't around it. Like, you know, some of these guys have kicks that I probably wouldn't be able to afford or anything like that. Yeah. And um, especially me as a Warriors fan, like I grew up a, a, a super big Warriors fan and just like um as a kid just going to those warriors games that were super cheap because they were trash it was yeah. like now to finally have it come full circle where i get to work with the team and some of the guys on the team it's been super cool because like those are people that a lot of people tend to look up to as like superheroes and like for me i get to document their lives and portray them in artistic ways so yeah. for me it's like you know the more that i get to do that and share that with people it's like I know some kid somewhere out there may be inspired by it. Yeah. And so for me, it's a, it's a really cool thing, especially like it 
it's all of my interests in the world. It's literally photography, it's basketball, it's travel, it's shoes, it's all these different things. And you meet all these cool people. So for me, like, it's insane. <laughs> like, I don't really get to reflect on it often. And like, when I'm, when I'm really in it, it's hard to get excited because I'm just super locked in on it. Mm-hmm. But when I actually do sit back, it's like, it's definitely an insane thing. It's like, I'll never take that for granted. So, you know, me as a kid, like little J squared would be super proud. (laughs) I would think at least I would hope. So I think the one and people who might not even know your name or haven't a clue who the, you are as a photographer would know, (laughs) would know that, that, that Curry photo. Tell me about that moment, how you, how you captured it. Did did Steph say something to you? Like ever, that was like a, that was a moment for a a little bit there in the playoffs. Yeah. Right. Uh, so Steph definitely didn't say anything like I haven't talked to him in a while like I've seen I've just said what's up to him in passing and stuff like that but I try not to bother him he's a busy guy but um shooting that game so that's November um I don't I don't know November 12th or something like that but they played the Chicago Bulls oh nice I'm glad I got it (laughs) but yeah no they played the Chicago Bulls and I'm just sitting in my section of like I was shooting by like the TV cameras and everything like that. And, um, you know, I just got, to be honest, I just got kind of lucky and I was just ready for the moment. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things that you can't really expect, but at the same time, because it's Steph, you always have to just be ready for something. (laughs) So for me, it was like, I just got lucky enough that, you know, I shot the shot wide enough because a lot of times, like a lot of sports photographers will really just focus on the person shooting the ball and just like, you know, shoot a tight shot. But for me, like, for whatever reason at that at that moment i just felt like i had to shoot it wide and you know i just got super lucky that steph decided to be steph right there and you know he did his thing so it's not even really me it's really just like a little bit of luck a little bit of preparation and just like feeling out the game but at the same time it's so hard to predict something like that so i just got super lucky that you know he decided to go crazy right there (laughs) what was your favorite part about the finals Right. Other than well, okay. Other than uh, winning, other than being, of course, right? Other than winning the championship, being in the in locker room, holding the trophy. That's yeah. Like, is there some sort of moment there that you could share with us? Right. I mean, one thing that was really personal to me is I'm a big Kobe fan. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. like, to be shooting in Boston, where you know you know that Kobe has won and everything, that was kind of a crazy moment. Just to like feel the history in the building and like really be out there shooting a game there for like you know, the NBA finals and to realize that Kobe had, you know, played in Boston for the finals and everything like that. That was a really cool moment for me. Yeah. Um, But I think the biggest thing for me was just like, and of course, because I have such a personal friendship with Jordan is like to see all of his work really come to life um, and like really come to fruition, especially after like people wrote him off the first couple of years in the league and like saying he would be out the league and he, you know, talking, talking all crazy, really not even not even really giving him a chance to like really grow into it um, to see him really like win a championship and really contribute. I think that was the craziest thing for me. And just like I couldn't be happy for happier for him just because he's one of the hardest working people that I've ever met. And so yeah. to have like one of your best friends really out there winning and like make history, that was insane to me. What is your biggest piece of advice for someone who might not be a member, is a sneaker head and is looking at Soul Savvy going, I don't know about this. Cause I think we get a lot of that skepticism uh, on the, right. on the internets around um, who we are and what we're doing and what we're building. And I would love your, your honest take mm-hmm. on that. If anything, I would just say like, try it out it's worth a shot because like you meet so many different cool people who like re- like i said like i'm talking about common interests like it really is a community of people where you can talk about you know this thing called you know just this thing called the sneaker game or the shoe game yeah. and just like you know all these people kind of obsessed about the same thing and it, i feel like that could really lead to friendships where you know maybe you don't meet up with them now but you might meet them in like five years and it's like oh like we've been talking for such a long time so for me it's kind of like I think it's a cool opportunity to just connect with people over something that everybody loves. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, like you can still like have all these resources to just like check out like where, what sneakers are being dropped and the stories behind it. Like, even like when you guys are putting the fits together and everything, it's just like, it's such a fun thing where it's just like, you know, it's just a resource, you know, to connect with people and also, you know, maybe explore a little bit of the things that you like. So for me, that's kind of the way that I've been using it, just connecting with people and just like keeping my eye on everything, what's going on, what people are doing and just like how helpful everybody in the community is. I know a lot of people 
um, you know, give the little assist out and just like helping other people get their kicks. Mm. So I think it's just a, a really good environment, to be honest. I'll let you wrap up with any last words or where people can find you on um, on the Internet. Yeah, I mean, shoot. First of all, thank you for even having me on. Like, it's definitely an honor to, you know, have you even consider bringing me on the show and just like being able to have a conversation. Um, but for everybody that's looking for me on social media, if you look up on Instagram, two underscores and then J squared, need to figure out how to get the J squared handle. But J squared on Instagram, um, Jordan Jimenez on Twitter, Jordan Jimenez on YouTube. I'll probably be posting some like little travel vlogs over the summer and everything like that. So that's where you guys can find me. But I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been listening and just been supporting me over the last few years. Like the love has been insane, especially just like in the basketball and sneaker space. So appreciate it. Appreciate everybody for showing love like it really does mean the world to me absolutely i love it um jordan i appreciate you thanks for joining us and um hopefully i'll see you in la yes sir i'll catch you in november all right dude have a good one (laughs) you too